So in the test that is so strenuous that I'm thinking about making it a part of a daily regimen, today I'm going to be going over and explaining my experiences doing this quick test between a small saw, a large saw, a hatchet, an axe, and a big knife. Now, as you guys could clearly tell, this was a little bit of a workout, especially when it came to the actual um, swinging tools, such as the hatchet, the axe, and the knife itself, primarily the knife. This is a, but I like to make these types of videos because it ends up being a pretty good uh, forum for discussion and also a nice test that shows each knife head to, or each tool head to head in a direct comparison. Now I've done videos like this, I've done videos like this in the past and this is never a video, uh, I don't create these videos necessarily to say what tool you should take, but rather to create an objective stance that shows the strengths or at least the competencies of these tools going through wood in a type of uh, bucking or in a type of bucking fashion where you're trying to cut down the piece of wood to a particular size and showing what each tool here can do or how each tool does that with speed with speed and fatigue in mind. Now, of course, the two least fatiguing tools here were, believe it or not, actually the large saw, as most people probably guess, and actually the large axe, or I should say the axe itself, this isn't necessarily large, but the big saw and the axe were the least fatiguing of the two tools. And the primary reason why the axe was the least fatiguing uh, in comparison to the small saw and the hatchet was due to the fact that it just didn't take that much work <clears throat> to get through that piece of wood. And swinging a tool is certainly fatiguing, but if it only takes a handful of strokes to make it through, then it's not as fatiguing. Now, next to that, in third place, it would definitely have to be the small saw. It was more fatiguing than the axe, but it still was pretty much a saw, so it wasn't particularly challenging. Then, of course, came the hatchet, and honestly, I wasn't sure what to expect in doing this test. I mean, I knew that, you know, the big saw would do well. I figured that the axe would do well in addition, but the hatchet actually did much better than I thought it would, and it got through that piece of wood a lot faster than I was actually expecting it to. And so for that, I definitely give it a... It's definitely in fourth place, but not by much. It actually was pretty good and pretty easy to use. Then, of course, in distant last is the big knife. Um, knives are certainly a tool that can do this job, as clearly shown, but by no means do not uh, believe that a knife is the most efficient tool for this job. And it becomes painfully, uh, painfully apparent when you take, you know, an axe or a hatchet or a saw and you use those and then you transition over to a knife because then the inefficiency or ineffectiveness of that knife is just showing very clearly. And while I still love this buck thug, it's a great knife for what it is designed for. It is definitely a knife and not an axe or a hatchet or a saw. It's just not gonna go through wood at the speed or efficiency of one of these other tools that is specifically designed to buck trees down to size or pieces, like I said, like I should say, logs down to size. So anyways, guys, hopefully this has been informative. Um, once again, this isn't necessarily saying you shouldn't choose a knife, but just understand that <clears throat> when picking a tool for this particular job, there's tools that will do it fast and effective with minimal fatigue and there are tools that will not. So anyways, guys, that is all for now. God bless, and I'm out.